In buying Twitter, Elon Musk has said he's interested in restoring some version of free speech to the platform. But just as one starts to think a serious debate is getting underway, Democratic Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez took to Twitter. The tweet that she just put out said, I'm tired of having to collectively stress out about what explosions of hate crimes is happening because some billionaire with an ego problem unilaterally controls a massive communication platform and skews it because Tucker Carlson or Peter Thiel took him to dinner and made him feel special. In response, Elon Musk tweeted, stop hitting on me. I'm really shy. Amid all this, it made perfect sense that Alejandro Mayorkas should announce his department was creating a disinformation governance board and that the board's director would be the Wilson Center's very own Mary Poppins, Nina Jankowitz. They're laundering disinfo and we really should take note and not support their lies with our wallet voice or vote. Oh. I'll admit to being struck when the words disinformation and misinformation began to appear regularly in media stories. Reporters and politicians can be clever in how they make words work for them, and today it seems clear that attaching those two words to a person is shorthand for erasing them from the debate. We're going to have to figure out how we reign in our media environment so that you can't just spew disinformation and misinformation. We address disinformation that presents a security threat to the homeland. Disinformation from Russia, from China, from Iran, from the cartels. But foreign propaganda isn't quite the way the board's proposed singing director, Nina Jankowitz, defines the national security threat from disinformation. During the 2020 election, I led a research team that investigated the use of gendered abuse and disinformation to keep women out of public life. We tracked 13 politicians over two months on six social media platforms and found over 330,000 pieces of gendered abuse or disinformation. Findings of the investigation include how disinformation, such as that aimed at Vice President Kamala Harris, quote, okay. involves the spreading of rumors or alleged facts, often of a sexual nature, in order to humiliate, discredit, or disempower the subjects. Harris is targeted for her dumb policies? Please enlighten me. How does referring to the Biden-Harris campaign as Joe and the Ho have to do with Harris's dumb policies? Much can be done to eradicate all this online unpleasantness to women, says Ms. Jankowitz, including creation of, quote, cross-platform consortiums to share data and root out malign creativity. Something like this already exists. It's called the Global Internet Forum to Counter Terrorism, or GIFCT. And this is where platforms share hashes of images or videos that include terrorist content so that they can remove that content. Disinformation Governance Board. The justification for monitoring social media on national security grounds made in her report and shared by Secretary Mayorkas and the Biden White House is that Russia, China, and Iran exploit these made-in-America narratives. This is a fissure that malign actors, malign foreign actors, can use to target us, to drive our society even further apart. It is a national security issue. But does the Biden administration conclude from all this that Ms. Jankowitz's job at Homeland Security will be to track misogyny on social media? Goodbye, Mary Poppies. Don't stay away too long. Elon Musk took over Twitter in part because he sensed, like many of us, that something isn't quite right with how progressives and much of the media handle what they call the truth. It's one thing to have differing opinions, but um, it's another thing entirely to just say things that are false. The Disinformation Governance Board is a terrible idea. Pull the plug. Shut it down now. Ms. Jankowitz can return to her career in amateur cabaret. Women should not be involved in government. They cannot be trusted. And the rest of us can return to the guilty pleasure of Elon and AOC monitoring each other on Twitter.